In this tutorial, we are going through the simplest way how to use Llama API and to display the results on your front end. In this example, we are going to use Next.js framework, but you can use the same approach for any other technology you prefer. If you have any doubts or questions, you can just ask me in the comments below. I'm going to answer to you and help you out as best as I can. And let's roll. This one should be easy. First thing we need to do is to get our Llama API key. So we are on LlamaAPI.com and you need to create your own account. So I'm, I'm logging in and we are going on the API token. And here we are going to copy it and put it inside of our project. So we are opening our code and here I'm going to create the .env file. And we are going to create here the Llama API token. And I'm going to paste here my token and you do it as well on your machine and make sure to keep this one safe. I pasted it, now we have our API key, so now we can start creating here our function to call for the Llama completion. Currently this Loktarogar is being called when we click the button here, so when we click it we can see in the terminal that we have our console log. So this is the place where we are going to make that fetch. So now we can open the documentation for the create chat on the docs for Llama API. And here we can see that we need to shoot chat slash completions. And if we copy this API endpoint, we can put it here. So we are going to create, for example, the Llama API URL. And we are just going to paste it here. So we are going to use this one to fetch that data. Let's first create our headers. So I'm creating the constant headers and we are going to put here content type to be the application slash JSON like this. Then we are going to put our authorization to use the bearer token and here we are going to use our token that we saved inside of our environment file so i'm going to call it with the process.env dot and let's see how we call it here in the example llama api token so we are calling it like this and now we should be authorized when we are calling our API from here. Let's just add our access control allow origin in case we have some course problems. Allow origin like this and we are going to put it on everything. So now we can write our fetch. We are making a simple fetch. So we are creating a response and we are going to fetch this llama api url from here and the method is going to be post we have our headers which are headers from oh it's header so headers like this and we need to send our body so we are going to stringify it like this and we are going to send here the options from our api so let's see what we need to do. We need to send a question like this. So I'm going to copy this one. So we need to have these messages. So I'm sending messages, role user, and we can ask here, for example, give me 10 Orkish names. Like this. And now we should already be able to test this out. So let's just await this fetch and we are going to turn this function into an async function like this and here we are going to create data which is going to be our response.json and we are also going to await that here and then we are going to console log our data let's see what are we going to get i'm going to the app and i'm going to press the llama completion button so now we should here get the response there it is it's working, we just need to get into our choices. So here I'm going into the choices and then first index and I'm pressing the llama completion button again. And here it is. We have our 10 Orkish names. It was 
easy just like that. Let's now just wrap it up a little bit. I'm just going to put here a simple try catch. So I'm going to put the whole response and everything in here and then I'm going to catch it. And in ca case of an error, I'm going to throw that error. And also I'm going to console log it just in case if anything happens. So now here we can return our data dot choices and then first index. So we can now try this out and put it on our front end side. Let's test it out again. I'm going to keep here one console log so we can have it just in case something goes wrong. And let's test it out once more. So here we are getting our orgs and we should basically return our message.content. So I'm going to return that one here, message.content and I'm also going to console log that. So let's go now to our page. So here we have our completion function, which is basically working on click and we have our prompt, which we are sending already. So here we need to get our completion. And here we should get returned from here, this message content. So let's try it out inside of our front end part. I'm going to console log our completion inside and I'm going to open here our console and try it out once more. So here we have some promise. So we need to await that one and we need to make it an async function. So let's try it out now. Returning it back and here it is. We have our completion inside of our front end. So last thing we need to do is to send this input to our server function. And based on that input, then return the completion and then just display it below. So back to code again. Here we need to send the prompt to this get llama completion function and here we need to put prompt and that one is going to be type of string and here instead of this give me 10 orkish names we are going to put that prompt that we are sending from the front end. And now here inside of our page I'm going to remove this console log and let's just test it out quickly. So here I'm going to say, give me 10, let's say dwarf names and I'm pressing completion button and here it is. It's working. So we are sending our prompt and we are getting the result. Displaying it should be extremely easy. Here we are just going to create a new state and we are going to call it AI result and set AI result that's also going to be a string and here instead of this console log we are going to set ai result as our completion from the api and below our button we are just going to check if our ai result is empty or not and in case it's not empty we are going to show our paragraph with our actual ai result and let's test this one out so here i'm Typing again, give me 10 orkish names, clicking the llama completion button. So now we should have, here it is, it's displayed below. Let's just handle a little bit this style. So here we need text white and this width should be moved here on the whole div. Nice, there it is. Easy peasy orkish squeezy. You have this repo in the description below and I hope you liked it. I'm also going to put this same component inside the Orkish AI Next.js framework. We have there already our open AI completion image model and text to speech. So this one is going to be a nice addition. And if you'd like more content like this, make sure to subscribe to OrgDev channel.